Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The transfer portal really starting to heat up in the landscape of college football as that portal window expected to open up next week. You've already seen some big names hit the portal. We just talked about Damian Martinez. Now we have USC defensive lineman Bear Alexander. Want to dive in to some potential landing spots for Bear Alexander. Looking to play his football heading into 2024. Really excited to get into this one before we do and as always just want to say thank you to you guys and it is going to be an extremely busy next couple of weeks in the landscape of college football we're going to be breaking down a lot of commitments a lot of new homes i'm fired up for it the amount of support y'all have shown truly does mean a lot if you guys do enjoy the content consider subscribing to the channel but more importantly would love to hear some landing spots that you guys think would be great fits for Bear Alexander, I have four schools that I want to talk about, but there are going to be a lot of programs that are going after Bear Alexander. Without further ado, let's get into this one. and Let's talk about Bear Alexander first. And I mean, yes, are there some red flags? This is a guy that transferred four separate times at the high school level. This will be his third time transferring at the college football level. There sure are. But USC fans will tell you, although at times, Bear Alexander has lacked some consistency on that defensive line going back to 2023. I mean, USC fans, we talked about it a lot. The dominance that Bear Alexander also displayed. And this is a guy that has a ton of upside at the college football landscape. And you're really trying to still tap in to the potential that Bear Alexander has. And again, there will be almost every single program across the country will be interested in adding a body and a caliber of player like Bear Alexander, want to get into some destinations that in my mind would make the most sense. Now, to begin this conversation, I think it makes a lot of sense to go back to 12 months ago when Bear Alexander was transferring from Georgia. These were his top six schools, USC, Colorado, Texas, Oregon, Miami, and Penn State. You look at those schools, a lot of those programs still looking for bodies on the inside of that defensive line. And I want to start with the Oregon Ducks. And why I want to start there is one, Dan Lanning has shown that he is going to be extremely aggressive in trying to maximize his roster in the transfer portal, brought in two quarterbacks in Dylan Gabriel and Dante Moore, went out and grabbed uh, Jabbar Muhammad from Washington. This is an Oregon program that we know has the NIL funds to make this happen. This is a program that has shown they want to get aggressive in the transfer portal. And then from a personnel standpoint, I mean, the one question that we had for this Oregon Ducks program really heading into 2024 was the bodies on the inside of that defensive line. They lose a lot of proven production from that unit. You have a lot of young talent on Oregon that you feel good about, but do you want to go into a 2024 season where I've been very vocal that I think this team can be extremely dangerous, not only in the big time, but as a national championship contender, if you're Dan Lanning, you're looking at it and saying, this is probably one of the bigger question marks that we have on our roster heading into 2024 a roster that we don't have many questions about bear. Alexander would not only add some much required depth to that unit, but some proven potential of a guy that has played at a high level at the power five level at USC last year, Dan Lanning, Oregon ducks. This would be a really good fit in my mind. The next program I want to talk about is the LSU Tigers. Now, Bear Alexander did not include LSU in his top six list last year, but you look at LSU, that is by far the biggest question mark we have on this roster heading into 2024 is the depth and talent level of that inside of the defensive line. Bear Alexander would come in and kind of mitigate a lot of the questions that we have for this LSU program We've been kind of banging the table that LSU, I'll use the word, I'll use the word desperate to add big bodies on the inside of that defensive line. You've had one of the more dominant ones pop up in the transfer portal. There is no doubt in my mind that Brian Kelly in this LSU program will be pushing for a guy like Bear Alexander heading into 2024. Next program, I want to talk about a team that he included in his top six originally 12 months ago. The Texas Longhorns, right? You're trying to replace guys like Tavondre Sweat, like Byron Murphy. This Texas program was dominant because of the inside of that defensive line last year. You look at how good they were against the run, the amount of pressure they were able to create from those two guys on the inside. Texas wants to dominate the line of scrimmage. 
And a guy like Bear Alexander would certainly help Texas play that brand of football that I think really made their defense break out in 2023. It's another program that not only is not afraid to get aggressive in the transfer portal, we know they have the funds to make this one happen as well. Texas, another team that would make a lot of sense for Bear Alexander. Last team we got to talk about, and you kind of just have a feeling that they will get in this recruitment is the Colorado Buffaloes and Coach Prime, right? And you look at Coach Prime, the big question, again, we had for this program is line of scrimmage play. This is a team that has a lot of talent on the outsides, obviously a very talented quarterback. They got a very good secondary. Our big question about Colorado is can they come in and compete along the line of scrimmage? Bear Alexander would certainly help that. Coach Brown has been very vocal. We have to get better along the line of scrimmage. We have to get deeper along the line of scrimmage. This one would make a lot of sense as well. Now, you look at some other teams, the Miami Hurricanes, yes, they would take Bear Alexander, but you have a lot of guys that you feel good about. You you made some additions in C.J. Clark and Marley Cook. You have guys like Justin Scott, Armando Blunt coming in. I look at that Hurricanes program and say, I don't have many question marks on the inside of that defensive line, but there are going to be a lot of programs that look at Bear Alexander and say, this is a guy that makes our roster better heading into 2024, and that is the idea of the transfer portal. These coaches are always going to try to find ways to make their roster better, especially at a position on the line of scrimmage that is a premium. In most conferences across college football, Bear Alexander is going to have – no lack of interest as a name in the transfer portal. Those are some names that, to me, would make the most amount of sense. We'll continue to cover this one as it plays out, as we get a better feel for where Bear Alexander might end up. Those are some of the names that kind of came right off the top of my head. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas again. Going to be an extremely busy next couple of weeks in the landscape of college football. We'll do our very best to keep you guys as updated as possible. Appreciate y'all rocking with it, and we'll talk to you guys later.